Okay. A court. Uh. Oh well. She dropped it. Um. Thank you for that, by the way. Um. I was messaging her. Like, afterwards, like, when can I see them? And, like, not getting a freaking answer. And, like... And it was, like, really bothering me. So I was like, okay, if you're dropping... Because the thing that she said in court was, I'm dropping this for the sake of the kids. And in my head, I was like, okay, what does that even mean? If you're not answering, you know... And it turns out that I had her blocked still. Because I didn't want to accidentally hit her number. You know what I mean? Because she was like one of the favorites up at the top I unfavorited her and then I blocked her so I didn't mistakenly call her during the extension of like the or not the extension of the uh, the two weeks of the OP because if I would have done that then she would have called the police I would have went to jail yeah whatever anyways I would have been in violation of the OP anyway so yeah it turned out that I blocked her and she was trying to tell me that I could see him if she wasn't busy. So thank you for that too. And I posted on Facebook uh, a screenshot. I didn't say anything about her refusing. I just, well, actually I did. I deleted a couple of those posts, but I didn't have them up for very long. They were up for like a minute or two and then I deleted them because I, I didn't want to like, I didn't want to like escalate anything, I guess. Anyways, um, yeah, she she let me tell him good night, and I appreciate that too. I was so happy to see him. Just the being able to hug him, you know, that was that was enough for me. I was really happy about that. The little faces. And Corey comes out with her big ass smile. <laughs> her smile is so contagious. Oh, it makes you uh. Makes you tear up a little bit. Anyways, uh, as it was so clearly pointed out to me, I had actually been using drugs for about two years. I don't know what I said in my previous videos. I think what I was told was a year or something. That's not true. I, I had been using uh, long before Courtney started using um and she didn't want that publicized, but if you ask me, <clears throat> when you can't have contact with somebody and you can't defend yourself, you know, when she's like blasting you on Facebook and, and people are saying that, you know, he was emotionally abusive, mentally abusive. Yeah, I was. I was. But so was she. <laughs> Why? Drugs will do that shit to you, man. Drugs will, will grab a hold of you and they will not fucking let you go. And then the moment you try to pull away while your other, like your significant other's also trying to pull away from it, the other one enables the other one and then it just, it cycle repeats, cycle repeats. And then you gotta think in between that, you're coming down and you're at each other's fucking throats. And when you're at each other's throats and you're sitting there, you know, saying, spitting venom at them and they're spitting venom back at you and you just say the next thing that you say has to be more hurtful than the other thing that she said to you it's it's stupid it's fucking dumb but then later on it gets brought up you know and thrown in your face and it's like i didn't really mean that when i said that i was just in the heat of the moment and in a fucking argument you know that's <laughs> That's all I can say really about it. Anyways, I would say it's just as much her fault as, as it is mine. Because that, that whole taking the kids away, you know, for two weeks, that fucked me up a lot. And this was the only way that I was able to really even cope with it. Is to have someone to freaking talk to or something to talk to and, and put out there... So people can understand if they actually give a fuck to understand. You don't have to watch it. I'm just trying to... Um, I'm trying to give you my side of it. 
and and try to be as non-biased as possible because I did her just as dirty as she did me. I said just as many fucked up things to her as she said to me. Now that whole, um, I don't even know if I ever brought this up, but there was an incident uh, last year. I can't remember when it was last year, but it was a while ago. It was, a, it was pretty close to a year ago, if not within the last year, then it would have been the last eight months maybe. Not from from this point, but from like, let's say April. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter though. The incident that happened, she uh, was in the kitchen and I was right here in this chair. And we were yelling back and forth at each other. This was at a point where we were we were both coming down. And uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bring that up. Never mind. That's probably not something to publicize. But it was something that I did that was pretty shitty while I was coming down to her. And, and, uh, it was, it was while I was coming down, I, I mean, I wasn't myself. And I never, like, was unable to, to, look, if you ask her, any time in the beginning, like, when we were first together and I was starting to get visits with Chayton and Dally, uh, Nikki's husband... Nikki is the mother of my older two kids. Nikki's husband would come out of the vehicle and start shit with me. Like, get in my face, like, yelling at me and fucking spit going all over my face and whatever. But I never, I never laid a hand on him. I never swung on him. No matter how bad I wanted to, I couldn't. Because I knew that's what he wanted. So think about it. I'm unable to control my fucking anger towards her at that point because I'm not myself. Does that make any sense? I was able to control it with Colton because a lot of those times, if not every time, I was completely sober. I had no, nothing in my system when I was picking up my kids. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Think about it. I was my I was myself then, but when I did that that fucked up thing to Courtney, I was not. Anyways, I don't even know what the fuck I'm even saying anymore. Just understand that she is not keeping the kids from me. She's not. Uh, she sent me a message, but um, she's not trying to be. The, the type of person that does that, so. I'm hoping that it would continue and that we could, I want her to get help. I really do, because I'm getting help. This shit is so stressful so fucking stressful she's sending me messages and it, and I'm not even trying to freaking argue with her you know I'm just I'm trying to give her as much insight from my own head as I can and uh, it might end up having to go back to private you know because I don't want I don't want to like display my life out there anymore at, at this point she dropped it I used those videos to, as a coping mechanism to, for me to be able to not go crazy, you know, um, hold on a minute, yeah, let me pause this for one second, anyway, I had to take my supplements, but yeah, this is, uh, it's getting to a point now where it's like, okay, we're, she's dropped it, we're actually talking, at least I'm trying to talk, I don't know about her, I, when we talked after I had given the kids, you know, hugs and kisses and stuff, it wasn't really, it was a heated debate, 
it wasn't, I wouldn't call it an argument. I wouldn't call it a fight. I would call it a pretty heated debate. And the last thing I said to her before I left was, um, like, you, you didn't do anything wrong. You did everything right. You know, you're blaming everything on me. Like, yeah. It's kind of messed up. It takes two to tango. That's the truth, man. That's the truth. We both fucked up. We were both shitty to each other. And that's the bottom line. And I'm trying not to be that way anymore. You know, so. Anyways, to, to wrap it up, she dropped the OP for the sake of the kids. She is letting me see them. There's no problem there for now. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's it. I might get back on here. It depends. Depends on how things go. Thanks for listening for those of you who have been.